Hey, what's up y'all? Out here at the Freedom Factory doing a little furt. Yesterday I actually did a little squirt, had to control the weeds. Sorry for the terrible lighting here. But uh, anyway, I wanted to show you something about clover that's interesting. First of all, I never even knew that clover would grow this far south, but it does. Ooh, look at that. You can see my mustache and that looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, I never knew that clover would grow this far south but it does. I don't know how it even got here. I have never seen clover in any other lawn here in this part of Florida, but we've got a lot of it. As you can see, I've got a lot of cleanup to do out here. I haven't been out here in a couple months. I'll have to give an update on that. But anyway, yesterday I sprayed for weeds and I want to show you something about the clover that you may not have known. So people will talk about how they love clover because it's a nitrogen fixer. And what that means is, is that it will pull nitrogen into itself and hold it and fix it. That's nitrogen fixing because nitrogen is volatile and if it's left in the soil too long, it can escape and this and this and that. But clover is a nitrogen fixer and that just sounds so good, right? Because, oh, the clover, it'll grab it and keep the nitrogen. The problem with that is, is it's super selfish and it holds all the nitrogen to itself and only puts it out once it's dead because it stores it in the root zone area. I don't even know, it might have, is this a legume? I don't know all the exact technicals of it, but there's some sort of meaty parts down in the roots, which I appreciate any plant that has some good, solid nitrogen fixed meaty parts. And it will hold that for itself until you kill it and then it releases the nitrogen and this spot right here will turn darker green than everywhere else. But here's the thing about clover. This is Scott's Pro Vista St. Augustine grass, which means it's glyphosate tolerant. I can use Roundup here or 41% glyphosate, which I do. However, glyphosate does not kill clover. Did you know that? Everybody thinks, oh, glyphosate's this miracle. No, it won't kill sedges, or it's not real good on sedges. It won't kill doveweed, and it won't kill clover. And I've had to learn that out here. So I actually spray the clover with Celsius, and now I can show you, let me show you one day results with Celsius. I've been driving around here and spot spraying with Celsius only on the clover. Check out one day results. So you'll see it all in here. See how these are all twisted and curled? See how they're like laying over? That is the weed control working. And that's part of what you'll see with different weed controls, but with Celsius active ingredients you do, is that you get this twisting and this curling here, it's called. Let's see if we can get in there. There you go, now you see it. See how it's twisting and curling? Right there. That is after just one day of the Celsius working. This burn on the on the leaves, I don't think that's from the Celsius. I think that might be from heat, which I don't know. This stuff might die in the middle of summer. It's only been here since last year, so. But either way, you can see that twisting and curling there. So that's pretty cool. That is one of the things that Celsius will do to clover.